The Woman King. <laughs> this is fan fiction, guys. This is not real. This is some, some fan fiction nonsense that has no basis in reality. Two hours of my life I'll never get back. Oh my lord, this movie is crap. Oh god, it's crap. You see, I'm actually uh, West West African, right? I'm Nigerian. Benin Republic is, is they're, they're, they're our neighbors. They were formerly no, known as the Dahomeyan, the, the people of Dahomey, right? That participated heavily in slavery. They, they didn't only participate in slavery, they carried out human sacrifices, right? They killed their slaves, they brutalized their slaves, man. A lot of black Americans in America today, you might have been, <laughs> your ancestors, your ancestors might have, might have been like, firsthand captured by these Dahomeans and sold. <laughs> these people were brutal, brutal. They fight their neighbors and when they win, they enslave them and sell them. Their neighbors were the people of um, Oyo or Oyo, whatever you want to pronounce it, right? It was portrayed in the movie that this Oyo people were in cahoots with the Brits and the French and uh, they were heavily into slavery and so the Dahomeans were trying we're fighting them to abolish slavery because we're enslaving the Dahomeans, which is in reverse. The Dahomeans were the ones fighting to keep slavery going because that was their bread and butter. They were fighting to keep it going because they, they became immensely rich through slavery, through the enslavement of their own people, the subjugation and brutalization of their own African people. You see, and they, they, they try to portray them in this movie that they were the they were fighting for freedom and justice and all that nonsense. The background of the movie is these Dahomeans were having a conflict with their neighbors, right? And so the neighbors, the people of Oyo, kidnapped some of the Dahomeans. And so it was like a rescue mission by the by the Amazonian women, the all female soldiers. So they went over and rescued some of their people. But some of the soldiers were still were captured by the people of Oyo. And so the General Nineska, whatever, wanted to go back and get the people. And their king, the Dahomean king, uh, King Gezo, which was played by John Boyega, my man, very good actor, was urging his generals not, don't, not to go back and fight, you know. But of course, she disobeyed a direct order from the king because, you know, you know, woman power and all that. So she went back and rescued the people. She faced the king uh, king oba of the oyo people she faced him in like hand-to-hand -hand combat and of course <laughs> of course she won you know <laughs> she's got like the you know the divine feminine power going of course she's going to win she you know you see this woman uh 70 pound woman thrown flinging around 200 250 pound men just ragdolling them around the place so then you know she won and hooray you know they defeated the slave masters and all that all that nonsense in reality right this movie was supposedly set in the 1820s right okay listen to this right in 1808 right there was this operation this military operation this uh british naval military operation called the was it, west african squadron it was an active operation from 1808 till about 1860 something 67 68 there about about 50 something years the British were patrolling the West African coast, right? Because they abolished slavery. The Brits abolished slavery. It's not like the Americans or this and that. The Brits had enough of slavery. This, they, they decided it was never going to happen again. This is inhumane. They're not going to participate in this anymore. They're patrolling the oceans to stop that. And if you're caught, you are you get arrested, thrown in jail. They weren't joking around. So this was causing... Uh, it's through a huge span in the works for the Dahomeans because that was their bread and butter, man. They were enslaving people, and they were still doing it during the time of the of the West African Squadron operation by the Brits. They were still doing it. They were still smuggling, still kidnapping and killing people and selling people over to the the, the Portuguese, shipping them from the coast of Africa, from uh, Re Republic of Benin, from that area to Brazil, America, Jamaica. They were shipping a bunch of people there. And this whole abolishment of slavery was really getting uh, eaten away at their economic prosperity because it was all based off of slavery. This is in reality what I'm talking about. So they went and fought, they, they had a fight with one of their neighbors that was um, occupied, that village or kingdom was occupied by the French. They went over there 
and had a fight, a huge battle with them because that tribe was trying to halt slavery by the orders of the Brits. So the Dahomeans went and fought there and that's why you get this um, General Nunesca in, this is in reality, not the fan fiction, in reality, she kills the chief of this neighboring village and wrapped and beheaded him and wrapped his head in the French flags, right? So this led to the the first Dahomean Franco Franco Dahomean War. So I, I can't really remember all this off, off, off hand. So in in short, the French had a fight with the Dahomean people and massacred them crazily. You see, all these multiple fights they were having on different fronts with the different neighbors, it really dissipated their their their, their army forces. So that was why they were forced to enlist women into their army. And that's why you have this whole all women squad on some Wonder Woman type nonsense. And so after that, when they were decimated by the French, you know, they went back, recouped, went back again to fight the French, all to keep slavery going. And then they were ultimately conquered by the French. That ultimately led to the fall of the Dahomean people. So just a brief history for you. I'm so happy that black people are actually coming out and saying boycott this nonsense. We're not going to watch this nonsense. You see, they asked Lupita to do it, to uh, do the movie. <laughs> she was like, So glad she didn't do it, man, my girl. You see, pe pe people are online complaining, especially women, they're online complaining about how male attributes are give, being given to women right now they b basically turning women into men like we don't have enough stereotypes of black women being overly masculine you have to portray them in movies acting like barbarians and these blue haired pink haired weirdos actually think this is a good thing what is what this is madness i'm so 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 glad people are actually standing up and saying no we're not watching this thing they're being ratioed to hell the dislike rate to the like rate in the trailer is crazy don't go and watch this thing man this is two hours of your life you're not going to get back and that nonsense rings of power as well do not watch that nonsense with they turn galadriel into this insufferable c-u-n-t like don't go and watch it. oh my god galadriel and lord of the rings that was the bomb she was the most the most powerful being feminine beautiful she didn't have to carry a sword you actually see her in the, in the lord of the rings movie beside her husband but not this one not this rings of power galadriel warrior queen of the northern army nonsense she doesn't need no man she's a divine feminine another day i'm going to make a video about the divine feminine it goes deeper than just what you see on tv it's it's, it's all spiritual it's the it's the culture of the elites they actually venerate the feminine principle. I'll, I'll make another video about that another time. Don't watch this nonsense, man. Please don't watch this nonsense.